Hello everyone and welcome back. Gaming with Priesty, Newcastle Jets in the Premier League, Manchester City way out on top. I uh, see we're now sitting in 13th on 36 points, uh, 9 points above the drop, um, sorry, 11 points above the drop zone um, with around 8 games remaining, Lukaku and Pulisic up the top of the goal scoring charts. We scroll down, trying to find some Jet players. Um, the last few seasons, Olsen has won the Golden Boot in League 1 and the EFL Championship, but he's nowhere to be seen. Uh, Lacazette is right up there on the assist charts. Also, Taggart is up there on the assist charts. Ravella is up there on the assist charts. Um, so just goes to show we've been sharing the ball around. Larice has had two clean sheets in the league so far from 30 games. A bit disappointing, if we're honest. Thank you for joining us. Here and today. We'll be we're heading to questions. our first game of the episode against Norwich at McDonald Jones Stadium against the Canaries. You know. Uh, it's a team you'd feel that we should beat, um, or you know, at least be in with a close fight for um, the points. But um, you never know in the Premier League. And I feel that the stress is starting to uh, come down. You know, with only eight games remaining and being 11 points clear, you know, it's, it's going to take a monumental um, shift in luck for all sides to uh, kind of, uh, from down the bottom of the ladder to get in front of us. You see, only the one chance in the first half. Nil or nothing doing whatsoever there. Moving to the second half, though, and still 75 minutes into the game, still not much has happened. Norwich working the ball well around the box. They carve us to shreds. The race comes up with a really nice save there. Then McKinley would drive into the box and he'd force a good save. 88th minute, game of few chances. Norwich would get a, another chance to take the lead and this time they would make no mistake. Uh, Mirren Chuck there uh, making the score 1-0 and, you know, a game here. of few chances. Norwich took there, so it's hard to argue with that. Um, disappointing we couldn't score a goal and at least... Uh, get a point from the game, um, but it's not the end of the world. The situation has improved in recent times for us in the league. Um, so as we look to progress further in the cup, um, in the FA Cup, um, the league might take a bit of a back seat now that we've got to be a little bit closer to safety. So we move into the next game of the episode at Emirates Stadium against Arsenal. See here, early into the game, Ramsey would get into the box. Nice block there that also would pick up the scraps. And he would turn and he would shoot. And that's a beautiful goal from the Super Suite from outside the area. And that's a celebration. I've got to work on my celebration. I'm not a big fan of that one where they climb on the ground. You know, I might fix everyone up with their own individual celebrations that they do. Um, I'm not sure if that took a deflection off the boot there. It was a beautiful goal. Nothing um, Arsenal could keep could do about that. But we weren't in the lead for long. Beautiful pass. Just splits it straight down the middle. Nice run and a tidy finish. Lacazette would go down against his old club though. And that's disappointing um, to see him go down. He's had a few injury troubles this season. Then we'd have a great chance from... A corner, Kanji would win the header, and then the ball would drop back to us, and, you know, Arnold here in the box we just slam a volley. Ramsey, I think it is. I think it hits his leg and bounces up into his arm, you know. If I ever do a future save, I'm not sure if I'll have the handballs turned on. <laughs> They're so frustrating. We make no mistake with Olsen from the penalty spot, and we're back into the lead 2-1 just before half time. Late in the game here, just over 10 minutes to go, uh, the Gunners would uh, go on the attack and <clears throat> after we turned the ball over sloppily with Caesar, 
would come up with a big save, but they'd press on, win a corner on the opposite side, and Dembele there, just too good, just hold the ball up beautifully, forces another good save from Lloris, the old Tottenham player saying, no, we will not allow this from the Gunners, and deep into added time here, we pass the ball, tag it, tag it, rifles up, a decent shot, and we do hold on for the 2-1 win against the Gunners. Picking up a nice scalp there. Cannot complain about that. Being the Gunners at um, the Emirates. And uh, it's unfortunate. Lacazette's going down. He's going to be out uh, for, a, for a while. Once again, we have a look at the ladder. Liverpool, Chelsea and Everton in the Prem, um, Champions League spots. Arsenal were in the Champions League spots until we beat them. Big scalp picking up a team from the top five. So we've had 10 wins this season. Nothing to be sneezed at. Let's so have a look at Dijenek. He's coming up against his old club in Wolves. The Australian centre-back. And uh, Wolves always have a problem with Diego Rossi in games against Wolves and this game here would prove no different just five minutes into the game Rossi would put uh, Wolverhampton in the lead at Molyneux and he just always um, scores against us I'm sure you guys when you guys are playing career mode there's players that always seem to score against you um, have a good chance there with McKinley um, He'd blast over the bar from almost point blank range and then uh, would have a, a semi chance there on the head. Um, but then late in the half, there, uh, Adama Traore would just um, shred us to bits, um, making the race, forcing the race into a good save. And then just after half time, Ravella would hit one from outside the box. Oh, would play one in there, and Lafont would come up with another good save. I always go to the fast stick there, and it seemed to get saved. So that time I went near stick, and Lafont read it, and um, yeah. So obviously put off a really good save, and then late in the game, Belotti, the Italian international, would double Wolverhampton's lead, and <clears throat> two nil. Up and the game, for all intensive purposes, over. Ravello, if you see at the top of the screen, he's picked up a knock as well. And we do have one final chance to grab a consolation goal, but uh, unfortunately we couldn't get that. And that's uh, two of our last three games. We've failed to score. You know, we've always, um, you know, defensively we've struggled, but we've never, ever struggled really to, to at least pinch a goal or two. So... A um, few worrying signs there um, as we move in to the next game, which is uh, the FA Cup semi-final, I believe. We scroll, scroll through and we have a look at a few of the results in the lead-up to that. As we get to this point, you see we have a look at the quarter-finals there. Um, Sorry, that was a round of 16, I think. And then the oh, quarterfinals and the semifinals. It's against now. Brentford. And you know they beat us in that epic game in the Carabao Cup early in the season. So we're going to have to be super wary this game, you know. Um, they're not to be underestimated, Brentford. Even though we're in the Prem and they're in the Championship, um, they're going to come into this game knowing that they did the business against us last time. And they're going to feel that they could do the business this time. Um, so we're back to Wembley again. Uh, sometimes we win here, sometimes we don't. Um, uh, we've had really good results um, in the past, um, you know, to help us get to the FA Cup final, but also had that heartbreak of losing in the FA Cup final against... Chelsea last season. See here, Brentford, you know, they've still got a reasonably um, strong squad. Um, so we're going to have to be absolutely on our toes here today. See, early in the game, Larice would come up with a big save. And I've got to be honest, it's early in the game, Brentford were the team that looked better. You see here, what a pass that is. And as a um, 
unbelievable pass there and Brentford would take the lead 18 minutes into the game and at this point I was thinking to myself oh we're going to blow our chance to make the FA Cup final none of the real big boys are left in the competition at this point I don't believe so it's a real chance to win some silverware and uh, right on half time Brentford would have a chance to double their lead and Larice would come up with a massive save I think at 2-0 down there could be game all over. We move into the second half, into the 70th minute, and Taggart there would get in behind. He'd force an amazing save there from Stafford from the corner. Kanji would get up and would be first to the scratch, but somehow would put it wide. And then Delaney, he'd get up for the corner. And it's unbelievable this goal I'm not sure if we take a look on the replay if Delaney hits um, wins the initial header then it kind of deflects off the Brentford player and, and um, puts Stefan off in the Brentford goal but he's backtracking and almost chips him on his line he gets a palm to it but he can't push it up over the crossbar and we would move into extra time and in extra time we would hit the post. That would be the best chance of extra time. But So we'd go to the dreaded penalty shootout, which we already lost one to Brentford earlier in the season. One all after the opening shots, Ravella would then send the goalkeeper the wrong way. And Lloris was looking for a big save from the Frenchman. And straight down the middle, a cheeky Panenka there. We step up. The pressure's really on. The goalie goes the right way. We green light it. He's unable to get a hand to it. And then that's a beautiful penalty from the Brentford player there. And then the super Swede steps up. He green lights it into the top bin. But Stefan makes a massive save in goals. Now we really need Larice to step up in goals for us. And he does just that. Douglas Duff has the chance to put us into the lead and he does just that goalie went the right way but wasn't good enough to save the penalty and then all the pressure is on the Brentford player now the race no pressure on him and he dives to his left but the penalty is a poor one straight down the middle and Larice saves it with his legs and once again we're through to the FA Cup final Heartbreak for Brentford. They'd done the majority of the hard work and they would have liked their chances after feeding us in a penalty shootout in the Carabao Cup earlier in the season. But it was our day to get the job done and couldn't be happier, guys. Uh, I'm not sure who we're going to face in the final at the moment as we have one more look at the ladder before ending today's episode hope you guys enjoyed it drop a like and a comment if you did and i'll see you guys next time